1250. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna get these. These are really sweet. We found a larger, I think it might be a wood duck or something like that. They're vintage foil pictures. And it may be hard in this lighting to see the foil, but you can see how in this picture here it glows. So they're very clean. The backs don't have any identification on them. But I just love the black mat and the gold frame. It's just plastic, black and gold frame. But yeah, it's really, really a very, very reasonable price for these. And Norm does have more of that up north theme in his bathroom. So that's where I'm hoping to use them because I have ceramic ducks by, mm, oh, can't think of the name of those ducks. They're in a wire frame, so yeah, the, this is a great find. I just walked in here to Shalom Thrift, and I was just going to look for some winter stuff, but we'll see what we can find today. I turned around, and behind me was this picture for $3. Isn't that cool, though? I know it's new, but isn't that fun? I don't even know where I'd put it. It's all beaded. Jeez, those are just so neat. I don't see any beads missing on it. That is so cool. Yeah, maybe you've seen some of these around. I don't see them very often. I don't know anything about them either. Well, I looked it up and this appears to be what is a kit that somebody made this tediously put all these little plastic beads on here. It's called Diamond Art. I did not know that. Wow, somebody went to all that work and then they gave it up. Wow, that's a lot of work. It's just beautiful. This is pretty cute for 70 cents. I think I'll get it um, just for an investment. Norm already bought me one of these just recently at some, I think maybe at Family Pathways. It's pretty cute for Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I think I'll get that anyways. And this is made in Portugal. It's missing a spoon, but it is a sweet little honey pot. Very cute. If you collect them, I'm not going to get it. If you collect them or um, like yellow, yeah, very cute. I'm gonna put that back down here where it was. Very nice. And look at the wow, size. Wow, like that's a tile. That is very cool. Made in Japan. Really? Yep. It's, the tile says Japan. The tile says made in. Japan. Did you notice this next to it? Look at this. Yeah, thanks for finding that. Are you going to take it? Yes. Dumb question, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be uh, donating some of my planer ones that are newer and replace them with what I find that's old ones. Yeah. I'm not going to keep everything. It's funny how every time you come here you find this stuff. That's really surprising. That's a take that seal off for you, huh? That's a beauty. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, I don't know if I left the seal on the other one or not. I'm not sure. I may have. 
Okay. It's, it's more valuable that way. They have a whole set of six of these transferware plates. They might all be grapes. I haven't looked at the pile yet, but isn't that crazy? Three dollars for six of them. They would be very pretty on display on a plate rack. Here's the mark on back, which is hard for me to read. It says France, F-R-E-N-Z, something. Too hard to figure that one out. This is a sweet uh, carafe. I don't know what um, cocoa pictures are at all. I, I haven't studied any of that. But there's a lot of gold on this. It's four dollars, but there's a lot of crazing too. It's not something I would get. Wow, these are very nice. Norm just loves boats. I would think he'd really appreciate these in his bathroom. Oh, wow, I wonder how much they are. Oh my goodness, they're two dollars each. And I looked at the back and it says, in Roman numerals, it's 1977. <coughs> Hard to see that. 1977 and on the internet, I looked them up and the average price is like 30 to $40. So they're vintage Burwood plaques. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take those, whether Norm likes them or not, but I think he would enjoy those in his bathroom. Hopefully I'll surprise him with it. This is a pretty cute old mug. It's made in Korea. Fifty cents. There was a little chip right there on the bottom, but that's not that bad. I'm not getting it though. I just wanted to share it with you. It's a nice red. Very fun for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure what this is, but it's very cute. It's quite small. And I'm not sure what I could use it for. It's pretty little. I don't know if you can tell by the price tag there how small this is. But it's pretty cute. I think I'll take it for three dollars. Oh. This is by the Watkins Company, as you can see on the buggy. It's called Country Kids Collection. It's cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these. A dollar fifty each. They are vintage. I'm not sure who would have made them and I don't even know yet if they're metal. Yeah, they are. That could be Sexton. Wow. Home Co. Wow. I really like those. Wonder where I could put those. Mm, fun. Be fun for Halloween. They're worth investing in, I think. There's, um, it, they're rubbed where, you know, it looks gold underneath. I don't know the significance of that, um, but it makes them a little bit fancier. Yeah, they're fun. No one's gonna have a fit. All these things take up space. Oh, and I really should start selling stuff, but I never know what I wanna use. I love changing our decor, you know that. Isn't that a pretty afghan? Two dollars. It looks in very good condition. I'm not gonna get it. Here's a different color. A little bit more worn than the purple one, but yeah, if you were reselling, all the time. You could really find a lot of nice things here. I bet a lot of the stuff goes here 
into antique shops in the area. There's, oh wow, three dollars. I wanted to see the size. 66 by 90, wow, that would work. <gasps> no kidding. It's very stiff. It's like it's never been washed. Wow. I've bought 60 by 90 tablecloths a lot because it works okay for our table. I typically don't even look at lace. No, I'm just gonna go, oh my goodness. These are 50 cents each. They look vintage to me. It's a cute design, isn't it? But I'm not gonna bother. This is their jewelry area, so I usually look for bangle bracelets. And I did find a couple of really nice ones here, but look at this. I got one of these from my friend Trent, who lives in Omaha, Nebraska. He is quite the thrifter. Boy, does he find a gold mine of things down there and in that area. He does travel around a little bit too to the other states nearby, but that's probably a real steal, a dollar. I should get it even if um, I don't need it. Even that still has the original sticker on the bottom, it looks like. Yeah, that's a probably 60s, 70s earring tree holder by Revere, I believe. Yeah, amazing. And find some amazing things in this place. So cheap. That's an interesting base. It's like Hager uh, style finish on some things. It could even be hobbyist though. Oh, those are vintage candle holders. Well, it had a sticker on it, so it's not hobbyist. Uh, don't see a price. One dollar. Oh, wow. One dollar. I was trying my light, but it doesn't do much. Wow. This is crystal. I assume it's crystal. Three dollars for the set. They're beautiful, but look at part of the set. It's actually an ice lip picture. Yep, the lip has to be shaped like that to hold the ice cubes back. If it isn't shaped like that, it's not considered that. It's just a picture. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a set. Hmm, interesting. That's very pretty. I wonder if somebody made these. I don't know. They're really pretty. $3, yeah. That's so cute for a brooch. Big brooch. Hmm. Hmm. I like those. I'm in a very noisy Goodwill. But I had to show you this finial on top of a tidbit tray. Sorry, you having a hard time focusing on that. But underneath, Royal China Africana. This is really an amazing piece. So tall. And it won't fit. But I wanted you to see the very unusual pattern. Sorry about the noise. Just had to show that to you. That's amazing piece. Wow. Very cool. Sorry about all the noise, but that's good wills for you. Here's a couple of uh, book rack pieces that I think are vintage. I have one, but I never liked how it tilts the books way back. 
um, it, it causes them to take up a lot of space, the depth. They end up with, you end up with something pretty deep sitting on your countertop. It could be very decorative for like um, your smaller books, not cookbooks, but Reader's Digest. And they were $6.99. And they've actually are giving you two of them for $6.99. Yeah, that's a good deal. And this looks to me like somebody took out a candle holder in the center. You still want $3.99 for it. Kind of wonky. Those long ones got to be that way all the time. This is very sweet with roses on it. I am not real big on aluminum because I'm just not real big on a silver for a color. I prefer brass and the gold tones. But what did I say? $4.99. But it is really sweet for little mints. If you like those old trays in that, I think they're very pretty. Oh, here's, see, here's another one down here. Hammered aluminum, is that what they call that? I've always thought these pies were just adorable. I've never bought one. I see them all the time. This is $8.99. Doesn't look chipped anywhere either. It's so heavy. But I just don't want to store them. Some of the things I pick out are bad enough, huh? But that is so cute. Wow, this is a very cool set. It's in muted tones. I have something like this, a butter warmer. I don't have anything like those, but this set is really cute. $3.99, It's hobbyist. Really? Oh, that's so cute. I like that. And very tempting because I have collected some corn salt and pepper shakers, vintage ones, that are older, probably. Yeah, I like that. Oh my goodness. I'm taking that. I've got a whole bin full of splatter glazed leaf dishes and I just love them. This one's higher on one side, easy to pick up with that handle. Yes, that's very cute for $2.99. It's initialed, but if there's a date on there, it's covered up. But I don't see any chips on it. That's a good deal. Oh, yes. So sweet. It's $3.99 for this whole stack of hand painted. I'm assuming they're all tulips. Oh, actually, there's two stacks there, so it's $3.99 each. It says OK1, OK, W A N, China. So they are Japan. Very colorful. Wild colors. That's a cute one. Crazy for coffee. Yeah, that's normal, right? Look at that. That is hilarious. I never find any vintage mugs. I like the footed ones. Bone China. Oh, aren't these nice? Very fancy. They have such heavy bottoms on them, but they are pretty. Looks like a couple of these are missing. They're pretty, aren't they? Wow. Yeah, that would be a neat set. Oh my. $4.99. That's probably vintage. It looks like, almost looks like gold that's worn off. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark. I do have my light on, but it 
doesn't seem to be helping all a lot. Yeah, I don't need council bowls or low dishes like that. But, like I said, I think this Goodwill is pretty smart, but oh. Oh, with a heart on top? Any broken flowers? These flowers, when they make them, they're pretty thick. That's really nice. $2.99. Yes, I definitely love this for Valentine's Day. Oh, my collection has gotten so big, but look at how cheap that is. That's in beautiful condition. I mean, I can't check the inside, but see now that would be turned around to the other side. So it showed more. Big heart on the back. Wow. Yeah, that is really sweet. Definitely, definitely. I love it. I'm getting us some all-purpose grippers because we can't get lids off of anything anymore. We can't even get water bottles open half the time. So stay there. I'm probably almost done here. I don't see a, a whole lot. <laughs> Look at He's got a kitten for a, a gift. <laughs> That's funny. That's a fun dog in a basket. I don't usually collect dogs. Not really. Especially hunting dogs or whatever. But um, whenever you see that kind of glaze, it's really shiny glaze. And it seems like most of the things have a golden glow to them. That's made in Brazil. I've seen a lot of pretty horses. 1998. Yeah, made in Brazil. That's beautiful stuff. But it has a very definite look to it. Isn't this pretty? They're palm trees. Wow. Very fancy. $3.99. Here's a couple more items. This is very cute. A dollar ninety-nine. I just might do that. Very nice. Nothing chipped that I can see. If it is, it's glazed over. That's cute. But I'm not crazy about that size. I can hardly wait to do my Valentine decor. I've got so many cute things, I can't wait to do it. This is only $2.99. Look at that. It's all open. It needs a cleaning. It will shine. It's very, very delicate looking. Wow. I like that too. There's no broken petals on it. Nope. No, really nice. Yeah, I better get going. Wow, that is some egg. It's just huge. It is ceramic. Oh, two ninety nine. Oh, three ninety nine. Ah. What are you doing in a case like that? I don't want it though. I, I wouldn't pick out blue. Well, the Easter stuff is coming out. I called bunnies cute. Get all the bunnies. <laughs> I don't want to think about Easter just yet. Aren't these cute? 
that's for your silverware. No, that's for your napkin. And that's for your silverware. That's really cute. This one's more red. These are newer looking. That is really cute. A dollar each, I figured that. This is 75 cents. That's cute. It's like the cookies that I collect. I didn't get a card. They do have some Christmas things here. Not that I need Christmas things, but boy, the other places were absolutely cleaned out. Uh, they put them away, I don't know. They left out some Christmas things here. Oh, even over there. <gasps> Look at that teapot. That looks interesting. Ha, huh, that's funny. No, that's a little too cutesy for me. That's uh, a little too cutesy. It looks like a hobbyist Noel candle holder up there. Wow, look at this set. Boy, is that fancy. Wouldn't that be beautiful for a winter display? Wow. I can't store that. A dollar each for those mugs. Wow. That is a beautiful teapot. 90% off. Wow. That's gorgeous. $6.50. Wow. I was wondering if I could see just made in China. That's all it says. But isn't that pretty? Oh, well. 90% off. That's pretty good. That's very pretty. It's musical. Made in Sri Lanka. Very colorful, huh? That looks Taiwan. <laughs> He's good. Yeah, not seeing a whole lot. But that's okay. Kind of came in here to look at more of their vintage stuff, which is all down these rows. All the way down there is vintage stuff they've sorted out. Wow, I had this but decided to give it away. I showed it in some videos, but it's really heavy. They want six dollars for it, that's really cheap. But I'm not collecting any milk glass, basically. loud music here is a problem. She's Christmassy. You can tell Corel from a mile away. Ha! I've never seen this pattern before. It's probably new. That's a stack of maybe six pretty small plates. Oh, look at that. He's got a little mushroom. <laughs> Funny. That's a nice little jar with peppers on it. I'm still holding out of my ornament. Dollar fifty. But I don't need that. Wow, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that picture. Seven dollars. Oh, that picture. Oh, I'd get it just for the picture. I could care less about that bowl. Oh, I love that. I might do that. I'll have to think about it. Beautiful pattern. Now I think this is kind of corny. An apple on top. The blue bow is a little much. I would have really admired that if it didn't have the blue bow on it. Oh, jeez. Same with this. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Crazy. Wow. This is made in the USA. Very vintage. $8.50. Gitano? Do you recall that? Wow. Sweet little lacy looking arms. Probably itches like crazy. <laughs> I don't like sweaters. 
I can't stand pull of stuff pulling over your head. Oh, look at this fancy rocker. It's a big one. This looks like an old jewelry box. All cloth. Covered. Here's a large Pyrex dish. I don't know what these are actually, if that's actually a lasagna pan or not. I always think that doesn't look quite big enough for one, but it's $6.50. It does need some cleaning, but I just don't use sizes like that. I'm sorry about the loud music, it's terrible here. But that's worth $6.50 if you can clean it up. And that's a sweet tray. Could be from the 70s. Big melamine tray. Very cute mod fruit. Don't need it. This is a vintage section at Family Pathways in North Branch, Minnesota. And I was looking at this set, which is really, really cute. $28.50. Wow. And the glasses are five dollars each. But look at this. Vintage Lucite Nightlight. I have a whole collection of them and I don't have this one. Yay! I would pay two fifty for that. Yep. That is old Lucite. It matches all the trivets and napkin holders. Oh, that's so cute. So far I only picked out one tiny little votive for 75. I'll mix it with red ones, maybe. So this is all vintage in here. There's always that squeaking noise going on. This is quite a casserole dish warmer. This is kind of boring to me. It is made in Japan. Six fifty. Too dark brown. Not that exciting. Aw, there's another one of those little deer. Avon deer. I have two of them. Uh, might as well get that for a dollar fifty. It's a lot cuter to have several of them. Three is a nice number. That is really pretty. If it, there was a pair. He's got a chip on his crown on the other side. Beautiful colors though. Love the gold on it. Yeah, it's too bad there wasn't two of them. There's lots of little Avon boxes up here. Don't know what's in them, but I'm sure they're cute. Cute things, but that's a pretty bird. There's a Pyrex bowl back there, Cinderella, but I'm not crazy about the Cinderella ones. I don't do any mixing. They're too heavy for me with my old hands and fingers. And then that's a new one underneath it, the brown and white. Oh, I like this. My brother has given me a whole collection of vintage tins that I have in my bathroom. I don't have this one. Oh, yes. And it's still full. That's in beautiful shape. Oh, very nice find. I prefer thrifting all these tiny things. I don't feel as guilty. But I really blew that today, didn't I? With all the big stuff I found. That's going to be so cute to add to the ones that I have. Oh my goodness, I love these. I use this size every morning. Oh, and there's a Lucite tea bag holder. Yeah, that is Lucite. Oh my goodness, really in tough shape. 
two dollars, but I'm gonna get it. I have two, maybe two like this. It really needs a good, good washing. You can wash these in the dishwasher, and nothing will happen to it because it's lined. It's it's not all clear. If it was all clear, they get they get a little cloudy because of the coating that was on the back. But these newer ones have a white lining. Like if any of the napkin holders have a white lining or um, spoon rests, things like that, they wash up very nicely. Don't have to worry about them as much. It's a very nice little milk glass hot dish, but I don't need it. But I am taking this. I don't have very many of these. Wow, two fifty only. Uh, I mean, that's probably high for what I've gotten a whole stack for. But yeah, that, I love that. Wow, it's too bad there wasn't more. I found the dinner plates you saw, but I didn't get that many of the, the small size. Look at that cute bus. Cadbury's. That's a very nice tin. The tin is two dollars. Good price. That's a pretty tray up there. Is that toll? Toll wear or toll painting? I guess. Not real familiar with that again. Deep tray. Very pretty. These plaques are huge. They look vintage on the back. 250. No. 750 each. Wow. Well they have them in the vintage section here. They are really big. Here's some krill again. I want two fifty a plate. Wow. That's a lot. I have a lot of that. Too much of the butterfly gold. Wonder why that was so abundant here. There's some more krill down there. Very springy, eastery. I got enough grill in them. This is three dollars. It looks like an old plastic piece. Probably came with a comb. Little boy set. Isn't that cute? Sorry about the glare. This is an old plaque. Probably home co. I used to have it. Twelve fifty. Oh my goodness. You have to like chipmunks a lot to spend that on it. It's <laughs> jeez. I'm sure you can find it for less than that. It is cute, yes. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Norm asked me if I wanted to stop in here. He really wasn't crazy about the idea because we've got a lot more places which we could be headed to. I'm sorry about all the noise. This is crazy. Oh darn, I guess I'm blind. Norm showed me that evidently there is an owl broken off there. What a shame, huh? Yeah, that's sad. It's still cute though. Yeah, $1.75 is pretty cheap just for the phone.